What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining me here tonight on this Tuesday, January the 10th, 2023, for another Metallic episode of Music of Destruction coming to you from the MOD Crypt. Hope you like the new set. Uh, Janelle is also going to be building me another one, so I have two to use. Thank you very much, babe. Um, we got to come up with some ideas for the new set. I really love this. I think this really suits the channel. This is awesome. I fucking love this new set. Bringing you the best in metal-related content right here on YouTube on the only metal channel you need. If you missed anything in the past week, click the I, bring down the menu. Everything you need to get caught up on is there. I'd really appreciate it. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that bell for all notifications. You're looking at one of the hardest working, dedicated, and consistent cha uh, metal channels on the platform. However, I am very brutally honest, upfront, opinionated, and critical. And if you don't like that, I highly suggest you go watch a more open-minded metal creator. Anyway, moving on. Welcome to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel. Tonight we're doing another member request. This one comes from my buddy Bradley, who is also a member. Thank you, Bradley. And uh, we're going to the USA tonight for a review of something you may not be expecting uh, with an old school sludge metal band that have been around for a very, very long time. In fact, they were one of the pioneers of sludge along with Crowbar. And I hate God, I am talking about the Melvins with Bullhead. Okay, this is a really, really awesome album. Now, this was released in 1991. Um, and, of course, along with I Hate God and Crowbar, the Melvins are widely regarded as one of the pioneering bands of the genre. And, of course, I agree with that 100%. And they're very, very unique. They have a very unique style and sound, and they've combined a lot of genres over the years into their extensive discography. Now, we're talking about 28 fucking full lengths. Never mind all the demos and the singles and the lives and the compilations that this band has put out. It has been insane how much material the Melvins have released. Now granted, as I said, they do have a mixture of some grunge elements as well as drone and some jazz and some hardcore punk. Just like a fusion. This is a very strong fusion type band, which I think is really fucking cool. It's also known that the band were good friends with Kurt Cobain of Nirvana as well. I'm sure they were also friends with Chris Cornell and Soundgarden make a lot of sense. However, Melvins don't have as much grunge as, of course, Soundgarden and Nirvana. They do have a little bit, uh, which is very surprising in certain aspects of the record in terms of its overall impact and everything like that. Now, what I think is really cool is it also has some experimental stuff going on, uh, which is cool as well. Now, the band was named after a grocery clerk at the Thriftway in Mon uh, Montesano, Washington, where the Melvins are from. Uh, where Osborne served as a clerk and vandal. Now, Melvin was the most hated fellow employee, and the band members felt it to be appropriately ridiculous, so they called themselves the Melvins, which is awesome. Pretty fitting. Pretty cool story for this band. Now, the lineup is as follows. On Bullhead, we have Buzz Osborne, guitars and vocals, Lorax on bass, and Dale doing the drums. So a three-piece band. And, I mean, for a three-piece, what's presented here is actually really strong, and it's a very cohesive effort. So we're going to get into the review here. Now, the album opens up with Boris, and we get this awesome slow-crawling sludge riff that almost reminds me of an intense psychedelic nightmare in a lot of ways. And the drumming comes in with some strong emphasis on the atmosphere that's being put forth here. And then Buzz's vocals come in, which give the music a darker, more sinister feel. And what's really cool about Melvin's to me is that they have many different guitar styles and tones that they use throughout the music. And... The emotion on this one is pretty intense. Riffing is low-tuned and blown out to create some dark aggression and, and intensity, even though it's slower paced. One thing, though, I do wish on this track is that the bass was mixed a bit higher, but they corrected that on the rest of the record, so maybe Boris was written before the rest of the record. I don't know. This one clocks in at just over eight minutes. Pretty hypnotic in a lot of ways. This is a great opener. Pretty good stuff. Next up, we have Anaconda. This one is another awesome sludge meets a bit of grunge affair. The bass is a lot more prominent on this track, so I don't know if they recorded everything at a different time, like I said. But it seems like the mixes are a bit different between each track. Anyways, this one is another great track full of a lot of variety and packed with passion, anger, and aggression, and some damn fine sludge metal madness to bring it all together. And there's some really cool riffs that almost sound like there was a bit of jazz inspiration with that jazz fusion mixed in with hardcore and sludge and even a bit of drone. I mean, very, very extensive list that this band draws elements from in terms of genres. This is a shorter track, but nonetheless still pretty cool. 
Next up, we have Ligature, and this one is pretty slow and sludgy with even some doom metal in the mix here, which I think is great. The drumming on this one is rather intriguing, even though it's simplistic. Uh, don't let that put you off, because this band does not fuck around, and I actually really like this track. Uh, this one is the most favorite of mine so far, and it's got like this really down-tuned rawness and emotion in the riff riffs that uh, really hit me hard then of course you got buzz's vocals that are as unique as ever and he has this really awesome style that no one else really has and these convey a lot of unease and sadness aggression and pain really awesome stuff great track next up we have it's shoved and this one has a pretty punk like vibe to it mixed in with a bit of hardcore and a bit of metal which is pretty cool the melvin certainly knew uh, how to combine this stuff flawlessly. There's also a bit of funk to this as well and a bit of jazz fusion once again And it offers up a pretty unique listening experience And I feel this like this one is pretty upbeat and will leave you feeling good as you listen to it And Buzz's vocals on here are still as pissed off and angry, but I mean this is metal You have to expect emotion and that kind of visceral anger great track awesome stuff next up we have Zodiac and this one has some pretty cool riffs that really drive the track forward into some pretty great funky jazz-like metal that is quite interesting, but there's also a lot of hardcore punk influence here uh, in the elements, and that really helps to push things to another, another level. And this is a great track to get your energy up and has that powerful feeling of triumph and strength to it. But if I ever heard another vocalist as unique as Buzz Osborne, I'd be very surprised, okay, because he is the most unique metal vocalist I've ever heard, or one of them anyway, along with Maynard and guys like that from Tool. Uh, but yeah, great drumming on this track as well. Let's check out some Melvins here on Music of Destruction. Enjoy. We're back guys really cool track hope you enjoyed that yeah this is some good stuff melvin's are a killer band next up we have if i had an exorcism and to be honest i don't really what's go know what's going on in the beginning of this track we get some really weird cymbal work some weird vocal like croaks from buzz osborne and some guitar before it breaks into the actual flow of the track and gets things moving this one slows things down a bit again in favor of the more sludgy side of things but buzz's vocals on this one are a bit strange but of course maybe that's the whole point of the track because this one's quite a bit out there 
quite out, you know, it's pretty out there, uh, but also very unique as well. And I feel like it had this really awesome presence throughout it. And there's like this high lead section of guitar work that really gives this track some incredible atmosphere as well. Pretty interesting stuff. Great track. Next up, we have Your Blessed, and here we get some more sludgy hardcore metal that is really down tempo once again, slow and disparaging, or despairing, sorry, in a lot of ways. And of course, you have Buzz Osborne's trademark weirdness in his vocals, but this one's a bit more of a desolate track, as I feel this one has a bit more of uh, depressing aspects to it, okay? Like, there's this really cool fusion like section that comes in as well to mix the sludge. Uh, up with some jazz-like riffing and drumming, a little bit of hardcore, you got a little bit of drone in here as well. As I said, a little bit of grunge. They got like a bunch of stuff going on. It makes it for a really interesting listen. Pretty cool track here as well. Closing out the album is Cow and Holy Shit. If Black Sabbath 2.0 ever existed, I would say the Melvins would definitely be solid contenders for this title along with bands like Sleep and stuff like that. But yeah, this is a mid-paced affair with some dark, sinister, low tune sludge riffs, some great punk-like drumming in sections, and of course, Buzz's strange vocals, which have always been a cool signature of this band. Really great track with a lot of variety, and I can see why this band was so groundbreaking for sludge metal and hardcore as well, because there's so many unique things going on here that it's pretty mind-blowing killer track as well. The final verdict for Melvin's Bullhead is getting a 7 out of 10, and it's pretty damn good. I do want to listen to a lot more of their discography, as I've only heard a few of their albums, including this one. Thank you to Bradley for his request. Hail the fucking underground. All right, guys, there you have it. Another album review in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for all notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Merchandise is available. Click the store tab on the homepage. All a bunch of awesome merch there. Janelle and I are coming up with some new designs very soon. Join the channel right now. You can become an MOD elite. You get awesome perks for $249 for your first month, including perks like this. Album reviews or whatever you want. Review-wise, like whether it's a top 15, uh, album ranking or metal album warfare 249 for your first month 499 thereafter you hit the join button you get access to exclusive content review requests within reason band interviews going to be interviewing uh, cadaver right very very soon once those guys are all ready to go with their album i'm going to be buying a copy reviewing it interviewing them promoting them and promoting their live stuff once they get some live stuff going so yeah and members only live streams have an awesome night guys we will see you for album ranking wednesdays hails Cause I could never